Hey everybody and welcome back. Uh, this instructional video is on complete denture polishing for the complete denture 2 course at New York City College of Technology. My name is Professor Oscar Galvis. Let's get started. To begin our complete denture polishing procedures, we start with pumicing. What is pumice? It's a mixture of sand and water and it acts as a wet sandpaper. Initially, we apply this with a black bristle brush. Before we even touch base on technique, I want to send out a caution. The use of a bristle brush with high speeds, long durations, and extensive pressure can actually burn your acrylic. So use this tool with caution. The application of the pumice needs to be evenly distributed throughout the entire denture. All surfaces of the denture should be touched with pumice and a bristle brush. Sometimes this is easier said than done. For those of you used to using a handpiece, using a lathe can be cumbersome. A lathe is stationary, so you can't move around the denture the way you would with a handpiece. So practice moving the denture in different angles to polish the difficult, hard to reach areas. When pumicing, you can make use of small mounted bristle brushes as well. These are great for getting into hard to reach areas. The Air Force also tells you to use them to apply pumice to selectively grinded teeth to smooth the grinded areas. And they are also great for reaching in between interproximal areas and smoothing the gingival margins. In regards to hard to reach places, a felt cone tip can be used with pumice and this usually aids in polishing palatal surfaces. Some patients have such a deep palatal vault that other tools might not be able to reach. A felt cone tip is great for these deep palatal areas and also on the lingual areas of mandibular dentures. After the application of pumice with bristle brushes, the next step is the use of pumice with rag wheels. Before talking about more procedures of pumicing with the rag wheel, I'd like to place caution on the use of a rag wheel with high speeds, long durations, and extensive pressures because it can cause loss of anatomical characteristics. With the bristle brush, we were concerned with burning the acrylic. With the rag wheel, if we don't use it correctly, we can actually cause surfaces to become completely flat and smooth. We should pumice on low speed settings when trying to maintain the natural textures and high speed may result in only smooth flat surfaces. So once again, proceed with caution. Now there are some surfaces within complete dentures that we would prefer to be smooth. One of them being the lingual surface of the mandibular denture. This is because roughness can be distracting to the tongue. So the smoother the lingual surface of the mandibular denture, the better. Once the pumicing procedures are complete, you can rinse the pumice off the dentures and evaluate. If there are any rough spots, it is common to repeat the procedures to achieve desired textures. The next step is the application of a high shine polishing compound with a dry, soft rag wheel. Polishing compounds are usually applied directly to the rag wheel and then onto the denture. There are some polishing creams that can be applied to the denture first and then polished with the rag wheel. It should be noted that you should have one wet rag wheel for pumice and one dry rag wheel for high shine. A dried rag wheel from used pumice becomes hard and if used for high shine can scratch the denture surface. Make sure that the polishing compound touches all the surfaces of the denture, including the borders. When using a polishing compound, apply more compound to the rag wheel as needed. Remember that the compound slowly rubs off as it's going to be applied to the denture.
When the polishing procedures are complete, you can steam off a residual compound and put the dentures into an ultrasonic cleaner. In order to evaluate if the polishing was done correctly, the denture must be dry. A wet denture will always appear to be fully polished. If evaluating the denture you see rough areas or areas that are not reflective, it means that you may need to pumice and polish again in order to achieve the desired results. The result is a highly detailed, textured, and polished surface. It is important to remember the difference between something that is rough and something that is textured. Something rough is unpolished and unfinished. Something textured can be finished and polished. Rough surfaces will trap food, while textured polished surfaces will actually prevent food from being trapped on the denture.